Torah Garden, speaking the absolute truth. Torah Nation. Shalom, 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 Yasharal and Yahuda. Grafted in Gentiles into the body of Hamashiach, we be about this witness. We be about the, the responsibility, the job, the commission that Yahuwah has given to us to cry loud and to spare not to lift up our voice like a trump in Zion, listening to none other than our King, Hezekiah, the prophet of Yahuwah. Hear the word of Yahuwah this hour. Yahuwah is trying to get Yasharal and Yahuda, the Yasharal and Yahuda, and the grafted in Gentiles, but Yasharal and Yahuda, right? These knuckleheads to understand that they must be born again of the water and of the Ruach Kakodash, and that they must come out of Babylon. Yahuwah, in the name of Yahushua Hamashiach, I give you praise. I pray right now in the name of Yahushua Hamashiach that you would take the reins of my lips and the reins of my tongue and reign. Yahuwah, have the dominion in what I say, what I do. Yahuwah, I am your instrument of righteousness. I am your sword of righteousness. I am your Torah of light. You have given me your Ruach of truth, and you have given me the ability, the, the wherewithal to, to, to speak your word. And Yahuwah, I don't do it in my own strength, but in the power of the Ruach HaKodesh. Yahuwah, you take the reins of my lips. You take the reins of my tongue and rein. May I not cause anyone to stumble, anyone to be turned out of way, anyone to come up lame. Yahuwah, I be about this. Yahuwah, I be about this witness. I be about this truth. And Yahuwah, I'm praying right now in the name of you, Yahushua Hamashiach, that your word would be a lamp unto their feet, a light unto their pathway. I come against every devil, every ruach or wicked spirit, every force, every power that would come against the truth of Yahuwah in the ears of those that Yahuwah has chosen. Yahuwah, I pray that they would hear your word and hear it resonate in their ruach. Yahuwah, it is the final hour. You are calling Yahuwah to go home. You are calling Yahuwah to take what this nation gives you and leave. Yahuwah, I give you praise right now in the name of Yahushua HaMashiach. Yahuwah, let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. Yahuwah, my strength and my redeemer. Again, we've listened to Hezekiah, the song is titled, This Hour. I don't own the rights to this music. Listen, man of Yah, woman of Yah, you need to get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready for the great reveal. If you have not been paying attention, you better start paying attention. Yahuwah is calling Yaakov, he is calling the grafted in to be born again. This is not Christianity. This is not what you have saw. This is not what you have learned. This ain't that. This is that righteous selected from an everlasting plant of righteousness. This is that witness in this time, in this hour, and Yahuwah is establishing his witness, his people, and the arrests. Yahuwah is calling Yahuda to wake up and preparing them to go home. Listen, don't you think that Yahuwah is going don't you think that Yahuwah ain't going to do what his word says? You got to understand, though, in relationship to text, line upon line, precept upon precept, brew, your place is on the continent. Brew, your place is on the continent. Your place is not in Babylon. Your home is not in Babylon. You have to get in this witness, in this Ruach HaKodesh, and start interceding so that Yahuwah will give you what you need to go back home. Now, ideally, listen, 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 listen. Ideally, we want, it, we want everybody to understand this 
in this witness. We want everybody of the nation of Yasharal and Yahuda on this, this American country, in this country, to understand this. In South America, to understand this. We want them to understand that these lands are not our home. But you know what, you know what, at, at, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, if you choose to stay here, I'm all good with that. And if you choose to stay with you, who is all good with that? You know, because everybody that's not Israel, everybody is Israel that's not Israel. Listen, you got to understand that you have people that are here of the nation of Yasharah, that the nation of Yehuda that does not claim their heritage, their right. They do not understand what it means to be born again of the water and of the Ruach HaKodesh. They have not clung to this witness. Man of Yah, woman of Yah, you got to understand this. So, you know, everybody ain't going home. Only a remnant. Everybody ain't leaving. Only a remnant. Everybody ain't going to move. Only a remnant. Listen, listen, listen. When you understand, right? Right. When you have delivered the nation of Mitzrayim, right, from Pharaoh, they were in active slavery. They were actual slaves. They were actually operating as slaves. They were Moshe. And you were told Moshe. Told Moshe to tell Pharaoh, "Let my people go, that they may come, that they may go and worship me." They were in bondage, right? But we in the Americas, yeah, we went over in bondage, and there's still a type of bondage. But we're not under hard bondage, right? We're like we're like the nation of of Yasharal that's under Babylon. Assimilated into the culture. Marrying foreign wives. Taking up their L's. Right, right, right. But given an opportunity to repent. Right, 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 right. They're given an opportunity to repent because the prophet came in and said, listen, you, we going over to the land, but listen, you got to get it right. You, 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 you got to get it right. You got to understand that you got to, you got to do that which Torah commands. You who said it was time to go. Everybody didn't go. Everybody didn't go. Everybody didn't want to go. Everybody didn't want to go. Right? When you who delivers out of Mitzrayim, he delivers out of the hands, the very hands of bondage. He he delivered us out of the hands of the taskmaster. Now listen, now listen, right? He delivers out of the hands of hands of Egypt and Pharaoh, right? Right? He did. Right? What is it? That's not what I'm looking for. When you understand, right, you who does exactly what his word says he does, right? You know, you know, there was a time, right, after the slaves, our brothers and our sisters, right, were released from slavery, they were given an opportunity to go back to Africa. They were given an opportunity to return back to Africa. And they returned to a place in Africa. That place that they returned to. Right? That place they returned to, they returned back to the continent.
Formerly enslaved people departed on their journey to Africa. The first organized migration of free slave people to Africa from the United States departed, right? Right? The United States departed from New York Harbor on a journey to Freetown, Sierra Leone, in West Africa, right? The migration was largely the work of the American Colonized Society, a U.S. organization founded in 1816 by Robert Finley to return formerly enslaved African people to Africa. However, the expedition was also partially funded by the U.S. Congress. which in 1819 had appropriated 100,000 to be used in returning displaced Africans illegally brought to the United States after abolition of the slave trade in 1808 to Africa. Right? 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 It says here the program was modeled after British efforts to resettle formerly enslaved people in Africa following English abolishment of the slave trade in 1772 and 1787. The British government settled 300 formerly enslaved people and 80 white prostitutes. Right? On the Sierra Sierra Leone Peninsula in West Africa. Within two years, m most members of the settlement had died from diseases or warfare with the local Tanaean people. However, in 1792, a second settlement was made where they went a thousand formerly enslaved people, mostly individuals who had supported Britain during the American Revolution and were unhappy with their post-war settlement in Canada, reestablished Freetown. Right. Now, this was a minuscule effort. Right? Minuscule. Right? But there were, there were people, slaves, that were returned to Africa. Right? That's after... And you know the, the whole idea of slave slavery ending in in the in the in the late eighteen hundreds is because it was replaced with uh, 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 Jim Crow and and, uh, and 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 a bunch of other stuff. But what you must understand is is that there were there was a government effort to apply funding to move a people back to their home. You got people that don't want, they don't want to send us. You gonna have us who are going to get to the continent because we understand the urgency of fulfilling prophecy. We understand the urgency of moving in Yahuwah's Ruach HaKodesh to bring to pass that which he has called Yahudah to do in the earth concerning his brethren. Right? And you know what's crazy is that, right? It's not even crazy. The continent and those that are on the continent want us to return, right? And again, you got people on the continent don't want us there, just like you got people in the United Snakes that are uh, uh, um, sealed in Babylon that don't want to go to the continent. Can't understand. This is a 
employment. This is prophetic. Right? Babylon. We left Babylon. Everybody did, had the choice, made the choice to flee Babylon, flee Babylon. They let everything go. Even to the point where they left their foreign women and their foreign children. Now, in the witness of Yusha Mashiach, you know, if you're born again of the water of the Ruach HaKodesh, you know, and your wife is, you know, of a different uh, 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 nation, but she, she's received the witness of Yusha Mashiach, she's born again. Listen, she in the kingdom because she in the witness. But at that time, they had to give up everything. In order to return home, they had to turn to Torah. They had to have sacrifices. They they had to do what was necessary. They had to do what was necessary to turn. And then what Yahuwah do? Yahuwah puts it in the heart of the king. What you need? What do you need? What do you need? I don't know if it's Nehemiah or if it was Ezra. Because they both were doing the same time, I think. But anyway. At the time, the king recognized that he was troubled. I think it was Ezra, right? Was it Ezra? Was it Nehemiah? It might have been Nehemiah. I can't remember. Anyway, he was troubled. The king was like, why are you troubled? It troubles me that you're troubled. And he told him, you know, my country, my people, my land lays waste. You know, our temple is destroyed. I want to go back and I want to take my people back to their land. And the king, the king wrote decrees. He gave grants and funding from unknown, unknown sources to everybody else. <laughs> he made it possible for the return to occur. Right? And the nation had all things in common because that's just what we did. That's who we were. It was all about sacrifices. And we were willing to make them. To bring the multitude of the nation back home. Right? Back home. Right? Somebody said, well, we don't know where we, we don't, we don't know where, 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 where we need to be on the continent. You know, we need to, you would have sold us. No, we need just to get to the continent. That's what we need to do, right? We need to demonstrate to Yahuwah that we are going to obey what Yahuwah has given us in reference to Torah, in reference to what our, our forefathers have spoken concerning us. And we just need to go and do it. And Yahuwah, show us where we need to go. And listen, at the end of the day, right? Right? The African continent is Yahuwah's. And they have divided Yahuwah's lands. But before colonization, right, it wasn't like this, right? It wasn't the Republic of Congo, the, uh, the Democratic Republic of Congo. It wasn't Gabon. It, it wasn't Cameroon. It wasn't Nigeria. It wasn't all these little sub-countries. We were, we were mostly one people. But within this, this, this system, there was tribes. And there were places where tribes settled, right? Right, but the, the 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 borders was established so that the colonizers could 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 uh, establish for themselves where they wanted to take, uh, uh, what, what areas they wanted to take. <clears throat> yeah, this, you, look, you gotta go home. You, you gotta understand this. This 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 is about the return. Right, it's about the return. You need to get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready for the great reveal. Because when Yahuwah starts revealing things and he starts opening doors, so you better be ready to go. Right? You know, we got Bruce, you know, we got, well, you know, you know, they, you know, they digging in, they camping out, you know, and they, you know, and they, they, your homestead better not be as important as going back to the continent. Let me put it like that. Right? Because, listen, you are establishing something in Babylon they cannot stand.
you are establishing something in Babylon that cannot stand. Because if you are of the nation of Yehuda and you understand the text that says that you are to flee Babylon, why in the world would you begin to set up a place where you can develop Babylon, develop in Babylon, right? You know, you know, it's amazing because, you know, you got, you have um, 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 people that are investing in property and land, right? Right. Our people, right? I'm the con I'm, I'm the United States, snakes, right? Buying land and investing in land. Which I didn't get the memo. What happened to our brothers, our ancestors in America that did the same thing? That tried to sell, establish settlements and in, 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 in little colonies and in, 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 in land and territory? And you think that this nation of wicked heathens, right, are going to let you live in peace? Do you think these wicked heathens are going to allow you to live in peace in Babylon? A land when the Most High has already told you to flee? To come out from among her? See, y'all too attached to Babylon. Too attached to Babylon. You're too attached to Babylon. A lot of us have done things because we haven't been properly informed. Right? We haven't been properly informed. Some of us come out of Christian Christian insanity. That's what it is. Come 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 out of Christian insanity. Right, and you still want to 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 in, in, incorporate that 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 insanity elements of that insanity, right? You 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 want to rely on uh, what you have been taught, right? Right from people who aren't qualified to teach. Get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready for a great reveal. Yeah, get ready. You better be seeking Yahuwah's face. You better be seeking Yahuwah for what is necessary for you to return home. Somebody said, well, that ain't my home. This is my home. No, your home will never be Babylon. You will never be accepted in Babylon. You will never have the support of the United Snakes of America. Never. Never. No matter what state you go to, no matter what, what, what part of, of this country you're in, you will never have the support of this country. And just like they ran in and they stole the land, they stole the resources of the lands that our ancestors developed, a farmland, all of that, they stole it. And you know what, right? right, right. This this what gets me, right? Yeah, it's, it's almost like it's almost like it's almost like Hebrews Hebrews get stuck on stupid, right? Right. So you got Hebrew farmers, black farmers, right? They're losing their farms, right? Because they're not getting the government funding, right? Where the white farmers, right? They get it. They've been getting it for years. But you can't get it. You've been applying for it for years and they still won't give it to you, right? And as a result, you're losing everything. Some of y'all have lost everything. But yet we still want to go and farm in the United States of America. We still want to build something. In the United Snakes of America. When we know, according to scripture, Babylon is falling. But we still want to build in the United Snakes of America. We want to have our little communes in the United Snakes of America. Right? Right? We want to think we're going to own land, but we don't own that land. Because at the end of the day, the government will come in and take everything you have. And not just the government. 
Yeah, the militia. They gonna come in. The militias that's fighting for the guns to have for the protection of militia, they gonna come in and steal your stuff. <laughs> uh, you ain't got enough bullets. Listen. You can't defend. You can't defend. Now listen, understand this. If we're here waiting on you who what to do what we need to do and we're doing everything we do to, to get to the continent because i believe it's going i believe it's coming I, I believe the opportunity is coming like 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 nobody's business real soon i, I just believe that right but if we want to take what we here receive and put it into the into the united states of america right ain't no help for you you gotta go home Yehuda, you gotta go home. Right? Right? Take what you know and have learned and have gained from your experience in this wicked system and take it to the continent. Where people who look like you. Yeah, they may not all act like you, but you ain't gotta worry about them killing you because you of a different shade. You don't have to worry about stuff like that. that. Ain't an issue. You, you you look. You better understand this. You better you better wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. Get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready. Cause you who is revealing, and you know it ain't gonna be pretty. It, it's not gonna be pretty. They raise funds to send people back to Africa. Right. And they went to free time. Free time. Right? In Africa. Sure. There were nowhere near the numbers that have returned. Because, you know, they still had to build the infrastructure of the, of the United Snakes of America, right? You know, they allowed some people to leave, but not all people, right? Because, you know, you gotta realize, you know, the, the, the farmers, the sharecroppers, they still needed, they needed workers. You gotta understand this, man. You gotta understand. You gotta understand this, right? I understand this. Yehuda has to go home. Yehuda has to fulfill prophecy. Yehuda's hands got to be on the neck of his enemies. His brothers have to praise him. The 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 twelve tribe, the eleven tribes, twelve tribes that are on the continent has to bow down. That they has to praise us. They has to bow before us, right? Now, and again, this is not a negative reflection to the continent because it's not that way. It's they have to respect and reverence what we bring to the continent. And they're going to appreciate what we have to offer because we know this devil. Get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready. Listen, I'm going to tell you something. I mean, like I said, soon, as soon as Jehua, look, I ain't blinking an eye. Uh, no, 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 no. And listen, you better get ready. Some of y'all need to get past it. Some of y'all, some of y'all need to apply for expedited passports. <sighs> I 
Man, if y'all want me, y'all, this is a quick one. This was an exhortation. Because this is what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be doing it. I'm going to be doing it until you need to get ready. You need to get ready. You need to get ready. Now, this is the Gentiles, too. You, you need to get ready. You do. You need to get ready. You need to get ready. Because Babylon is not going to take care of you. You can hide in Babylon. You can almost blend in in Babylon. Right? But at the end of the day, Yahuwah told you to come out too. Because see, now, now you're in a Mashiach. You have to come out too. Oh man, listen. Hear the word of you. It's gotta come out. It's gotta come out. It's gotta come out. You gotta understand what that looks like. And see, for you, you don't necessarily understand and see it like that. Right? But that's why Yahoo has given it to Yashua. That's why he has given it to Yehuda. That's why, that's why, that's why, that's why. I can't understand what this is. Gotta be prepared to defend the nation. Gotta be prepared to defend the nation. And you know, it's interesting, right? If you listen to the theme of, of what you see on TikTok and on Facebook and on social media, that's going to make some people mad. And I'm talking about Europeans. Blasting Europeans. For how they have failed to recognize and treat people of African descent. And they don't even know the Hebrews. They're still just dealing with color. But wait, when, wait till when they really begin to understand they're the people of Yahuwah. Of the Most High. Some of them ain't gonna be able to stay on their cot. <laughs> oh man, listen, listen. There's so many things happening on uh, in the world. You know, you got the distraction of Ukraine. You got the distraction of the economy. You got the, 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 the distraction of the debt ceiling. You know, we don't hit our debt ceiling. You know, they still print money, which means that the money and the dollar is going to become valueless. Right? right? All of these things are still happening. Right? All of these distractions. You know, they talk about getting, they talking about, uh, um, um, hmm, um, President Biden. And now our, our president has, uh, uh, classified documents found in his garage. You can't make this stuff up. You can't make it up. Listen, there's so many things to distract you. Right? There's so many things to pull you. So many things. But what you better understand is, is that Babylon is falling. Don't let them don't let these Christian preachers and teachers uh motivate y'all to to uh motivational euphoria. <laughs> I listen to these they be they just motivational speakers. They ain't telling nobody to repent. They ain't telling nobody to be born again of the water and the Ruach HaKodesh. They ain't speaking against anything that Torah says is not right. They motivational speakers. They make money. They get offerings. They get your tithe.
You better get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready. This reveal, this reveal, this reveal is happening. You who's about to... You got things that are going to be unleashed in the earth. We have to do what you have called us to do. See, because, you know, we have the rock of you. Yeah, we don't worry about uncircumcised Philistines. <laughs> we don't worry about giants or lion men of Moab. We don't care about that. Uh, Judah's alliance will. Judah has been instructed to learn the bow and teach his son the bow. Teach his son the weapons of war because Yehuda is going to be on the neck of his enemies. I ain't talking about any United Snakes in Babylon. You ain't winning no victories in Babylon. <laughs> you ain't winning no victories in Babylon. It ain't happening. It ain't happening. You ain't winning no victories in Babylon. It ain't happening. I don't care how big you are, I don't care how many men you have, I don't care how many guns you have. You ain't winning no victories in Babylon. You got some of these militias. They got 50 cows. Ron gonna cut right through them brick buildings, steel buildings, and everything else. Oh yeah. This is their land. This is their continent. This is their country. This is theirs. And you're not welcomed here. You better understand. It's time to go. You better be ready to go. Because if you're going to stay, you're going to stay in Babylon. Good luck with that. I ain't mad at you. I ain't mad at you. Y'all can run around thugging. Trying to survive. Thugging. <laughs> Fighting over a can of beans. With my ox say. Fighting over a can of beans. And both y'all get run over in the parking lot. <sighs> it's profit. You better hear the profit. You better hear the profit. <laughs> You better hear the prophet Hezekiah. I listen to his music all almost every day. It is so prophetic. So prophetic. Both of y'all get run over by a vehicle, a vehicle that's stolen. You gotta understand. You know, when they when they provided the return of some slaves, right, back to the Americas, I mean back to the continent, they landed in Freetown. Right? Now if you if you if you look at Freetown, Freetown is is uh, it's a tough place, right? Similar to most places on the African continent at times, you know, where bruises are. But, right, they ain't over there worrying about being shot, killed, or hung. You know, and see, this is the thing, right? You know, I, I watch, I watch these um, YouTubes, these little African kids that dance, right? And they got that song called Jerusalem or Jerusalem. Right, and um, you know, let me say something, man. I'd <laughs> be like, man, I really know what you <laughs> But anyway, you see these little kids, man, sometimes, and they'd be like stumping in the dirt, no shoes, clothes hanging half off, you know, but smiling, all dirty, but smiling, happy, right? Cause it's what they know. 
Mas eles não tem, não. I sat up and I watched one on one time and I just cried. Because I wanted to go home. <laughs> Look at them doing that. <laughs> I know where I belong. Listen. I know where I belong. Listen. They all forgot our babies and our people. Over 15,000 of them. Digging in the ground to get out cobalt. They're doing things to, that they're mining, they're mining uh, mines with their bare hands that should be mined with excavation equipment. And they ain't getting paid for it. It's time to go home. See, because our enemies are abusing our people and the mere return of Yehuda back to the continent sets a supernatural precedence I don't understand this that's why that's why Yehuda has to go back to the continent don't matter where you end up on the continent right because wherever Yehuda has you Right? He's going to use you. Right? You don't have to flock to Ghana. You flock to South Africa. You know. You can you can go to Nigeria. You know, you can you can go to other you can go to Kenya, Tanzania. Right? Because at the end of the day, when it's time for us to come together as a nation, one stick. We gonna be where you wants to be on the continent. Our people used to migrate to the to the to the temple. To the, they were oh, they used to pilgrimage to the temple. <laughs> uh, they were all in different territories. You who is tired? You need to reshape the way you think. I'm calling Judah. I'm telling you, you need to reshape the way you think. You need to ask Yahuwah if you don't have his Ruach HaKodesh, if you haven't been born again of the water and the Ruach HaKodesh, you need to do that first. Right? Right. And then you need to receive his Ruach HaKodesh and if you have his Ruach HaKodesh, you need to ask Yahuwah to give you what you need to go home. And if you don't want to go home, you need to really find out what's at the bottom of that. Because you, Yehuda, you have an obligation to your brother. Jacob gave you command. You have to take care of your brother. Yehu, Avraham spoke to Jacob and Levi concerning the nation. You, 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 you're the descendants of Yehuda. You can't just do what you want to do. This ain't this ain't that. This ain't this ain't be your own man. Set your own destiny. Do what you want to do. A motivational speaker. You can do all things. You can do all things through Jesus. This ain't that. This is being born again in the witness and fulfilling what Yahuwah has called you to fulfill of, as the nation and the tribe of Yahuda. That's what, that's what you have to do. Man of y'all, woman of y'all, I was quick. This was brief. And again, scriptures are the same scriptures that Yahuwah has used to support this argument and will continue to use. And any additional ones that I attach to this. You gotta understand this. You need to understand. You need to get ready. Get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready. You need to get ready. You who is revealing things. But you need to get ready. Because once he reveals it, you need to be ready. Get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready. You need to be ready, ready, ready. You need to be ready. You need to be ready. So, Bruce, I'm gonna tell you like this. I ain't building nothing in Babylon. I ain't buying another home in Babylon. And the home that we in, right? 
right? Should we leave this home, right? We leaving this home to go to the continent. And if we don't leave to go to the continent, I'm going to the continent because I'm not staying in Babylon. That's where I have to go. That's where my assignment is. That's where I need to be. Yehuda's alliance will. I'm that righteousness selected from an everlasting plan of righteousness. In the eighth week, me in that righteousness, right, is going to be given swords, right? We're going to give him swords in our righteousness to execute judgment and justice on all oppressors. Get ready, 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 Babylon, the king, what you need? We need reparations. <laughs> will 55 billion do? Will that, what, will that, you think that'll cover it? You think that'll get you over there? <laughs> Did you think that worked? You better get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready. Get ready, get ready, get ready. See, because I'm like this. You who? I'm ready to go. I get up every morning. You who? I thank you and I praise you for another day. I play my music with the shofar. I roll over to my bed, turn on my phone, and play the sofa. Yeah. I think that a Coty for giving me that. Yeah. I think her name is Jeanette. Coty Jeanette. I thank her for that. Because that was that was I tell you I thank you for today. I thank you for what you're doing for me and today. But you who will make no mistake about it, I'm ready to go home. I'm ready to go back to the continent. I'm ready to fulfill what you, what you had told Yaakov concerning Yehuda. I'm, I'm ready to do it, you. In the name of Yehusha Mashiach. When I go to bed at night, I play it. Doo -doo -doo. 30 minutes. Thank you, Yehu, for bringing me through this day. Yehu, I thank you for giving me what I need to leave here and go to the continent to defend the nation. Because that's what you told me to do. Supposed to defend the nation. You who I pray for my brothers. And as I wake up at night and get up and pray that the, that the nation would come to the understanding that it's time to go. That they would be getting ready. Get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready. Not getting ready to, to, to hunker down and and, 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 and get 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 locked in and you know and, Get ready to go. Man of y'all, woman of y'all. Again, that's a short one today, but you know, this is just the words of encouragement. I, I got I gotta I gotta do it the way you were giving me to do. I made it to cry aloud in the spirit, not to lift up my voice like a trumpet Zion. Hear the word of Yahuwah. You must be born again in order to see the kingdom of Yahuwah. You must be born again of the water and ruach Akodesh to even understand what I'm talking about. Right? And if you in Christianity, this ain't that. Oh, well, I was baptized. Nah, this ain't that. This ain't that. This ain't that. 
I felt the Holy Spirit. This ain't that. It was, a, it was a Ruach. This is not that. Right. Man of Yah, woman of Yah. Hear the word of you. He told me to cry out, spare not. Yahoo, I give you praise for your word. Yahoo, I give you praise for this encouraging word. Yahoo, I pray that it falls on the ears of those that you've chosen to hear it. Yahuwah, I pray that it falls on the ears of those who have chosen to hear it. Yahuwah, I pray in the name of Yahushua Hamashiach by your Ruach Kakodesh that it falls on the ears that you have chosen to hear it. Yahuwah, I pray, I pray, I pray, I pray, I pray that our people will wake up. I pray, Yahuwah, that they would be quickened in your witness. I pray, Yahuwah, that they would assume the call that you have chosen, the things that you have called Yahuwah to do. I pray. And I thank you, Yahuwah, in the name of Yahushua Mashiach. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. Yahuwah, my strength and my redeemer. Man of Yah, call the greatness woman of Yahuwah, beautifully and wonderfully made today, Yahuwah's favor to. Go forth in the power and the strength of his might. And listen, get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready. There's going to be a great reveal. Get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready. It's time to go home. Get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready for the great reveal. Get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready. It's time to go home. I'm going home. With that I say, shalom, 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 and be blessed. Torah Garden, speaking the absolute truth. Torah Nation.